All right, so here's kind of where I'm at. Um, I removed that piece over there and uh, this one over here. And uh, I'm going to need to take that thing off. I need to take that thing off and make one of those. So they go all down. I can't get the floors in without that, of course. I'm going to have to put finish putting that on. I went ahead and cut, pop my holes in here, ground it down. Since I did this one that way, at least it'll look right. I could just weld it. Like I said, you could just weld along the edge there if you don't want to do that. It's up to you. Uh, I got this one all opened up, ready, so it fits on the dog, on the uh, outrigger. Then I made, where is it? This piece here, notched it out so that it will go right, you can see, right inside there, like that. Okay. And so I'll weld this piece in first, put this piece underneath, and then weld it in, and then I'll weld this piece in. Uh, but I have to notch, remember I have to notch this piece, because it doesn't have this, this notch in it like that to match that, so that will fit. So that's why you need to have that thing in first. So I put that in, I mean put the black piece in, then I put the brown, orange, red, whatever you want to call it, piece in, and then I'll put the piece in on top of that. But now the problem I run into is I got to do this patch too. And of course, I got to do this. This is all the little stuff that takes you all the time right here. So I got to make this little corner piece that goes down. Of course, it needs to fit into the floor. So I've got to make that piece. And if you can see here, like this, I think right here is the dog leg. So what I'm getting to is I need to remove the dog leg. So I pulled off. So in order to really kind of finish up the front, the, the, the cargo floor, I had to pull the dog legs off because otherwise I weld that in and then I might have more work for myself to get this out because I'll have a little more spot welds on there. But I removed this side already. Um, really all you need to do is cut right up under here as close as you can. I used my little saw and broke the blade. Um, but you could use a cutoff wheel, get up real nice and tight right here and get along here and then get around the corner. Then what I did is like with a can of Spam, if you can see here, a lot of people will drill all those spot welds. That's just like takes forever. Um, I just take and just roll it up. I take a pair of pliers or in fact, I just use these, um, but you don't need one of these. You can just use pliers and I just rolled this up here until that came off. So what I'll probably do is demo the other side and let you guys kind of watch. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do that in fast motion or it doesn't make sense for me to, I mean, if you guys can kind of see well enough, I've explained it. I think if you can kind of see from a distance uh, and I kind of do it quickly, you'll kind of know how to do it on yours. So I'm going to, I've got, like I said, I got the same problem over here um, when the dog legs off. I think that piece of metal goes to that one. So um, it just, this, that's a continuation of this piece. So again, like I said, it'll be uh, harder on myself because I got spot welds to do here. It'd be better if this was welded in and then I could just like burn it really good and heavy yeah, up in that corner, which is kind of hard to do. You got to reach back behind here. So again, I'll pop holes in this, these inside here. You see that black paint? That's not, it doesn't come like that. Um, in there, it's raw steel inside there when you get these. So you've got to paint the insides of them. So I take a spray can and I just hold it up and I just spray a whole bunch. 
get as far in there as I can along here. Um, you're not going to get it all the way through. That's what I'm saying about the other video that I have that says about that you, there's no way to replicate original. So anyway, it'll be pretty good though. I did both of these that way. Painted inside of them. Same thing I do on the other pieces that I put on. I usually paint them before I put them on. So that there's something at least behind there. Um, they're not using like regular car paint, but at least there's something, like I said, it'll kind of help the rust. You know, there's primer on there, maybe there's, but there's no primer at all in that middle piece on these dog legs when you get them. So you can actually get one of those little 360 degree spray nozzles. It's like a little hose with like a little spray in that sprays paint all directions and you just kind of move it around and it'll kind of get paint on most of it. I mean, you're not going to get it all. But it might help to do that. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could try you could try that. But um, I just sprayed it from here. You could see it running out here and stuff. Where I sprayed it inside. So I did spray it all inside there. So anyway, uh, but then it comes down to this. this so this is the next thing. <laughs> so do the dog legs. To put in the to install the dog legs, I won't need to install them until after I put that piece in. But it's to install the dog legs, um, I have to have this piece in there. So I went ahead and bought it. it these are like 25 bucks. It's kind of expensive for it, but um, you know, it's it's kind of difficult without one. You know, so like this one's completely missing. It's kind of difficult to fabricate this when you don't really know what it looks like. It goes like this, I believe. So it goes in there. So and it kind of I think it butts up to where that one is rotten. But you can see there's a little bit above there that's more rotten. So what I'll probably do is try to find some metal that's in here that's good. Um, if not, I mean, I'm not sure what I'll do yet. I'll just cut it off. I'll lop it off and then I'll see how thick the metal is. And uh, I'll put this on there. So I may have to, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but it's going to be a little difficult. It's always, they always have issues right here, always, but not quite this bad. This one's pretty bad. So anyway, uh, so I'll put this in place there and then I got to do the other side and then I can put the dog legs on. So. Actually, I've, but in order to put this on, <laughs> that's what I was getting to, to put this on, if you see down here how bad that is right down there, this is the inner panel. Um, this connects to the top of here, this piece, um, and it goes down, it connects to right there, and then on the other side, the frame rail does the same thing. And... So it goes all the way across. It's actually, I'm trying to think if I remember right. I think it's this whole piece right here. And I thought it was the lower part. I think it's only the lower part, if I remember right. It just goes across here. And then there's two end pieces that go on here. And I don't remember exactly how they go on. Because I've changed this before. My red bus had a really bad one. And I said, man, you know what, next time I might fabricate something and if I so I'm going to take this off on the other side of here and I'm going to see how good the metal is here if there's anything left that I can just weld a piece on and then make an L okay or actually it's like an S so you go down like this and then a little lip and that little lip is what holds this piece on so always in the front there's a lot more work than what you think you have. Some people go, oh, I just need the front floor. Um, and it's a lot easier to change that outer panel with the floor out. So I was trying to tell CT, I said, dude, you need to yank that nose off before you put that floor in because you need to see what's going on there and see what's going on behind there. And if you can fix that, if yours is like this, you may have to change that inner panel. If you change that inner panel, 
see right there it's sort of what that's sort of what you run into there so all right well i'll put it on uh fast motion for the next part here take off that dog leg i guess on the other side and then i'll bring you guys back in a little bit Let me check it out talk to you in the next one Well, if you see here, what I did is I cut underneath the uh, lip of the, or underneath the uh, seat stand, just right underneath there, that, that's just a sheet metal piece, and it welds up over the top of the dog leg. If you get your new dog leg, you can see right where it goes. And then uh, when a camera got done falling down here, I, uh, I just take the metal off by peeling one layer off the other with a pair of you can use a pair of pliers, pair of dikes, whatever. I'm using some end cutters, I think they're called. And I just peel it off and then roll it up like a can of Spam. And uh, that's the easiest way to get some of that metal off the second layer off there of the dog leg from the, the B pillar there. So then in here, I'm just going to go ahead and spot weld all along here. And, uh, uh, and then... I just, when I get done spot welding all that, um, then I just run the bottoms and then I run again the top on the inside, just a few tacks along there to kind of hold it really strong. And then that kind of double strengths the, whenever I can, I do that in inside on both, both sides. So anyway, that makes it nice and strong. All right. So that's it for that part. And then, oh, in the front, I actually bought the little corners. You'll see in that as well, those little pieces. The repair piece there, you sh I show up for a second. And I actually took that off. And then uh, we'll move on to the next part here. All right, so you can see here, you know, that came out. Underneath here, you can peel that off if you want to. I'm probably just going to grind it down. It seems to be pretty solid, so I might just grind it down tight and then just stack the metal. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Maybe it's just light here that's causing the flickering. Is that better? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, I'll take this off here. I got this little inner panel I got to take off and make an L piece for that that uh, a pillar or B pillar and uh, I'll make that real quick and then I'll pull it from behind and then tech weld it in and then grind it all down smooth I'll grind all those welds down off camera of course one of the things I like to do is always and a lot of medical work guys they don't do this because we're not painters um, when I was a painter in the body shop They'd send us over every part that they were going to put on, and we'd paint all the jams. But, you know, I'm not going to go out and mix up paint, spray the jams of them all. But at least I'll do this. I'll put a little bit of Krylon on the inside. What I do is I prime it with this so I don't have to sand it. It actually just makes everything stick really good. So I'll let that dry for a minute. I'll come back and shoot that real quick just with some black. Because the primer, I don't know if it's a sealer or not. I don't know what they use. So, and then of course I'm going to end up grinding this. Well, actually, I'm not going to grind this edge. I'm going to grind in here. And I pop the holes through here to mount that on. Either that or, uh, I don't know if I'll use panel adhesive on that. I don't think it would be a good idea. It would probably work fine. just don't know how I'd clamp it. I don't know. I'll figure that out when I get to it. And uh, that's how I do mine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do these. Uh, I This side is always a pain because, um, the driver's side, because you can't get in here. But with the dog leg, one of the reasons I wanna take the dog leg off too was it's easier for me to get a camera in here to show you. Um, so it's one of the things I was thinking about. I wasn't just thinking about myself. Oh, actually, this one's going to stay in by itself. How about that? So, this piece drops in here like this. I 
pressure straight. It's really hard to see. I might have to go to the other side. I'll look at it from the other side. I want to make sure it's all the way up too. Yeah, it looks like it is. Close enough. Well, do whack on it a little bit, make sure it's up there all the way. Main thing I look at is is the top edge, is it line up with the top of the frame? The bottom little corner down there. This is probably a little manufacturing fail. I don't know if you can even see it, actually, maybe not. So anyway, uh I'll look at the other side real quick. Alright, so this part's like 99.9% .9 cosmetic, so, I mean, as far as how it's set, if it's straight, so, it's entirely up to you. Let's do this. I'm welding here. You guys can see better than me. I can't see anything until I push the button. It sounded good. Is that a good sign? That one didn't sound good. Sometimes if you just bump it once, burn that little bit of badness off, to hit it again, it's fine. I'm going to say, just need to grind them down. Not the prettiest looking weld, but they'll definitely hold. When I say something about I don't take welding seriously, I'm talking about I do take it seriously from holding, from making it look perfect, not so much. Well, you guys got the best seats in the house, better than mine. Well, I'll probably be able to weld with you guys in the way. But if I look through the camera, I can see better than I can see if I just don't. Let's try this here. I don't want that big chunk of wire on there. Oh, do it again. It's the nature of the beast. It's where you're at. Down in the hole. Trying to weld. I'm gonna say if I take it too seriously, how it's gonna look. I just aggravate myself, so I don't even bother. I just want to make sure it's holding. Missed. Got the edge of it. I got that one. I can see just about nothing. Missed. It's ugly. I'd say it'll hold though. Okay. So, like I said, that's my main concern is that it's going to hold. So I make sure I have the heat up nice and high. I put a lot of wire in it. I'll burn it a little bit more than I should. But that's the whole thing, you know. It, I'd rather have a hole and know that I'm penetrating then you know have something that's not going to stay anybody agree with that one let's see we gotta get this on oh, damn okay. pain in the ass having this stuff all here let's see
This one's going to be a challenge. You know, I may just tack it. Wait, I got an idea. I got these. Let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. Kind of. Gonna have to hold it like that. See that? Then I gotta weld it somewhere back here. Uh, it feels like the gap is even. All right. Let me hold it on. I don't think those pliers are gonna stay. Damn it. Like I said, sometimes this stupid wire thing in the way is pissing me off. Sometimes you're just going to have to call it on these ones. It's at the wrong angle a little bit. Where I'm at. Good. It'll look fine from the outside. Not quite where I want this to. This is a little bit low. But uh, now I gotta trim the groove out of here. Oh, yeah, that was gonna be fun. I wish I should have probably put that one in. This one. This little spot right there where my finger is. Sorry, I had that off camera, but it's a little tough to do this in this area. I gotta cut my grooves in there. I guess I gotta get out of here to do that. Unless there's a pair of tin snips around. Let me check. Yeah, I was thinking ahead a little bit. So I'm just gonna go with right here. It's gonna be a little wider gap than normal. I go up to about right. Right there. So it lines up with the other one. The other side the same. So about right. You guys can see better than me. Stop hey, no. My dog's going crazy over there. Been fussy. I have a helper coming. Hang on a second, guys. All right, so I cut them both a little off, but no, nobody's ever going to see it. So. Especially that fantastic cut work I just did. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, I gotta get you guys out of the way for a second. There we go. Look how that magically happens when you guys looked away for a second. All right, so I gotta get. I think I need this. I need a clamp of some sort. Because I'm a little bit gapped here. You know, when you do these without the bulkhead out, sometimes there's you got to do this. Um, it is a little bit tougher to do, but um, 
you do the welds from underneath. It, I just wanted to say that in case you're doing yours without. You know, I got the floors out right now. It's a different situation. So, I'm gonna say I could probably start welding this baby up. Looks like. What do you guys think? Think I can weld it? The hose is gonna bump you though. Jeez, oh, always constantly have that wire. So I have to leave the welder on the whole time I'm in here. It's too hard to get it in and out of here, so. when it goes where I want it to. Really careful with those because I want to make sure that I'm going all the way through. So I burn it really good. I mean you can if you're really good you can there get right in the hole but uh, when you're old and you All right, at least I know I'm penetrating. If I get a hole in it, I know I'm penetrating well, so it's not a problem for me. Because it's a little bit twisted because of this thing. A little bit twisted, so. But you can straighten that out by hammering down the edge. There's, there's always a way to do it. I forgot to clean this over here. So it's a little bit tighter as well. Just gotta make a little bit. What I do is burn it, and then weld it. Burn it, weld it, burn it, weld it. You can hear it. it sounds right. It sounds right as it is. Okay, I'm out of camera. You guys are looking at me doing nothing. Okay. All right, I'll do the rest in a uh, little bit faster speed uh, I'll bring you guys back in take a look I think you get the idea that's how I do it I didn't know why I had this hammer Let's burn the top edge, burn the other side over here, fill those two last ones. I'll bring you guys back in, we'll take a look. All right, so got it all in place here. You know, the reality is I burned a hole. I missed a, a jack point down there. I just missed the uh, tab, weld tab on there. That's happens, you know, I just weld it up and, you know, get the grinder out, fix it up. You know, that's, that's reality. This isn't, you know, some super... Superman trying to do welding I'm just an average guy. I've done tons of it. I'm not trying to show How perfect I do stuff so that everybody goes ooh, look at you I'm Trying to show you guys so that you can do your own 
and not be afraid when you make some mistakes and uh, still turn out really nice and have a good thing. The main thing I'm concerned about is always penetration. Is the weld going to hold because it's penetrating into the other steel? You know, welding is basically you're melting two pieces of steel together with a filler rod. So you want to make sure you get both surfaces hot enough for them to melt and your penetration. So if you look at the other side where you welded something, you can see like right here, I welded it from the other side. You can see I penetrated really well. So that's what you're looking for is that penetration going through the other side. You know you're melted all the way through and that will hold. So that's the most important thing. How it looks is not as important as long as it, uh, you know, especially in something like this where you're gonna grind it down or, you know, and paint it like we did the other side. So before I put the rockers on, I always paint. Okay, back barrier, even, even if it's just a small coat of paint, um, you know, typically that's not gonna see any weather. It just has to be sealed up enough. So I have to put one more coat on this one. If you see I got some runs, you know there's not gonna be rust there. So keep that in mind. Talk to you guys in the next video and we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up on this one. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of grinding and uh, there's no sense in showing you guys all that, but I'll show you uh, after we're done uh, in more videos the, on this project to show you how it turns out and it turns out really nice. I mean, this here was kind of lumpy. If you look here, it's pretty smooth now. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, all right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.